about to meet a woman who is truly best described as an undercover angel. But little by little, this angel is growing her wings, touching lives one good deed at a time. Will Gans has her story. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Mona. You know the fairy godmother from the 1950 Disney animated Cinderella. You can't forget Whitney as the fairy godmother alongside Brandy in 97. But there's a new fairy godmother in town transforming the lives of real life people who need her help. I was lost when um, I was pregnant. I was like, what am I going to do? Just to have somebody like that reach out to me to help me was incredible. She's there to help when people need it most. The packages kept coming and I wasn't expecting it. Like, Simone is amazing. Amazing, certainly, but there's an even better and slightly more magical description worthy of Simone Gordon. A fairy godmother, yes, that she is. Simone helping those in crisis across the country through her Instagram account. Most of them are minority and the LGBTQ community and domestic violence victims. Simone, you made this possible for me getting the fleas off the floor to all my babies having a place to sleep. So many now in emergency situations as they're forced to stay home. We're getting tons and tons of messages where, as you can see, I've been fundraising for hotels for different people, um, from different women, because since their spouses are home, they're being abused even more. We have a situation in Virginia. Where After a video chat or phone call with those who reach out to her, Simone reaches back out to her thousands of social media followers who pitch in to donate supplies and as much money as they can. We raised over approximately 81,000. It was previously 57. Now we're at 81,000 and people are just putting um, so many testimonies on blogs like this girl is real. She is a fairy godmother. That nickname coming from a woman Simone helped seven years ago and it stuck. If you go on Facebook and Instagram, that's all people call me. And I'm like, I have a name. They go, Black Fairy, Black Fairy. You're like a fairy and you're saving our lives. Talk to me a little bit about your life and how this is just one small part of it on top of all of the other things you're juggling. My son is severely autistic, nonverbal, and he's nine. And I also have my parents. So I wake up around 3.45, 4 a.m. to assist him, clean him, get him ready for school. Simone, also a full-time nursing student herself. I never get any sleep. I just get two hours of sleep. And people go, wow, you're just a normal person. Yes, I'm a normal person. I love people because this happened to me. And I feel as though I need to take a stand. Taking a stand so no one else has to go through what she did as a new mom almost a decade ago. And I just created something big and said, hey, if the resource is not there, I'm going to go to social media instead of us watching gossip and a whole bunch of negativity. Let's turn something into like something positive. And for so many, she's done just that, helping Shawnetta, who was forced to stop her job at a school system due to the pandemic. I've, I've never met her in person, so she's literally like just dropped out of the sky via how many other miles we are away and she just pops in and, and helps. And Latoya, who had toilet paper shipped to her from Florida. I've never heard her say no. It's always I'll try. Simone is just a beacon of hope and we all should be that for each other. Simone glad to inspire a little bit more magic in these trying times. Um, now is the time for us to not think about ourselves, but think of each other, but still be at a social distance, you know? And right now, I don't know if you can yeah. see on your screen, but there's almost like the way the lights are, there's like a halo behind you. And I think it's so fitting. <laughs> you are like an angel on earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you guys. Simone tells us helping others can be as simple as calling an elderly family member or checking up on a neighbor. But if you are able to give a little bit, head to her Instagram account at the Black Fairy Godmother official to see how you can help spread a little magic. Say it one more time, Will. Say it one more time. At the Black Fairy Godmother official. Bippity boppity boo. I really do feel like <laughs> she is just getting started. Just to break it down here. She's mm -hmm. already raised $81,000 through her Instagram followers. And she actually tells people the goals and what she's doing to let them know exactly where that money is going. Shopping lists, all of it. She's very specific about all of it. She's definitely using her social capital in order to get actual mm -hmm. capital and help real people. We'd love to see it. That's the way to use social media. Thank you, Will. We appreciate it. Thank you.